that's up to my guys. I told them that we'll never doubt now that uh, we can begin a good matchup with the team. And uh, the show is better than the days. It was, it was definitely uh, a game kind of on our schedule for a long time. I was just trying to do everything we could to win. Uh, I felt more rebounds this time because they were a bigger team. So I had to go in and crash the doors. But it was just, we just all wanted to win really bad in this game. Yeah, the day of practice, uh, I showed them the number 2017 and the 7. Uh, that was the last uh, time that uh, LaSalle won. I think it was a game two of the finals in 2017. And the 7 is, uh, we lost for the day seven straight times. You know, so. Was another motivation for the guys. Uh, most of them are new, so they should realize uh, what's in store you know, and uh, what's at stake this time. So that, uh, they really went all out uh, to get this victory, this hard-earned victory. You know. and hats off to the Tineo. We know that uh, it's not an ordinary team. We know that uh, they fought hard. In fact, they got killed in the offensive rebounds you know, by 35 offensive rebounds. And, uh, uh, we have to correct that, uh, but uh, at the end, uh, when we needed the rebound, uh, we were able to get it. Um, in the first quarter, uh, Coach Dad is a really good coach, and uh, he put a lot of defensive schemes to kind of stop what we do best. Um, it just, uh, I just uh, sit down and uh, look at the game and see how they're playing us, and then uh, take a step back and uh, see how it can be effective. Later on the stretch, I was just trying to do uh, whatever it took to, to get the win for our team. In order for us to win, you know, in the bigger today, it has to be all out team effort. When, when your number is called, then you gotta be ready. You know, Raven step up. Um, when he was called, his number was called, he was able to step up the challenge and he was able to show what he didn't do. Earl played the solid in today's game. He was able to do his thing. He didn't panic. Uh, he played like a veteran today and uh, hopefully he continue. These guys will help us. One of the game plans that we did is we just have to defend the perimeter and uh, I'm going to say probably that uh, we were able to do that, no? Uh, but not the first quarter, most of the three points just at the, at the first quarter. But the next uh, three quarters, I think uh, the boys really did a good job in defending the three-point shot. Uh, we were able to make adjustments on the top pick and roll and uh, try to get uh, Padrigal no? out of the uh, comfort zone. And uh, I think we were able to do that. The last season, as I mentioned before, no, that uh, we didn't really know each other. First time we've seen each other, first time I've seen Deshaun, uh, first time we've seen me. Some of these guys also I've seen only in the, when the, the bubble started. So it was more of getting to know each other and uh, we didn't have enough time to know each other. I had a complete lineup February 14th, I remember that, February 14th, on March 26th we were already playing. So uh, that's the difference uh, because uh, this, this season we were able to, even though there's a short uh, break, uh, we, we, we took advantage of that. Uh, we were able to join and begin BC during the preseason. At least we can see what we've done so far. Well, this win means nothing, you know, if we, we don't take care of business against you. you know. The season is still too early. There's nothing really to celebrate about. We just have to really focus and, you know, stay on track. And uh, we take care of uh, business against you and we don't underestimate them. We know that uh, they're a better team now uh, compared to us. We had a hard time and a tough time with UE. Uh, in fact, I think the last game I came out, we don't make sense, we overtime, right? Yeah. In order for us to win. So we know we know that uh, uh, we just have to be ready for you. It's another uh, sort of classic, really. Um, you know, I hate to come out on the losing end of that one. I think we, we hold ourselves responsible, but, you know, in some way that's being unfair to uh, Coach Derek and LaSalle. They played a, a hell of a game, a really tough game. But I can't help looking at my own team understanding our deficiencies in this game, but I think we're unnecessary, really. That's probably what uh, is more disheartening than actually losing the game. When you put up rebounding numbers like I've never seen, I don't think, in my life, 36 offensive rebounds, 55%, and that's extraordinary. After that first half, everybody was rightfully concerned that uh, the LaSalle pressure was taking a toll on the team. And then we come out in the second half, we only make six turnovers. With those kinds of numbers, I believe rightfully expect the scoreline to look a lot different. I think we had issues with, let's just call it self-imposed composure. I think we did things as a basketball team and individually that are going to be extremely detrimental to our capability of vying for a championship. If we don't fix that this moment, then uh, we can start looking at season 86. 
just coming into the game, uh, there's a lot of excitement and preparation going into it, just because it's the rivalry game. I know that the outcome wasn't something that we, we wanted, but I feel like there's a lot that we can take away from this, a lot of positives that we can take going into the next game and moving on uh, later into the season. Ask me after our next practice. It has to be fixed immediately. It's not a process. It's their job. They damn well better.